Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So I am going to start off by saying I just recorded this video and for whatever reason it was not focused. So <clears throat> I am, I already opened up the jacket, I did all that good stuff. Um, the other piece of, the, the other part of the packaging is downstairs. I ordered this blazer from Wolf and Badger. Um, the packaging is simple. It's a quick, it's a simple little dust bag for it. It's, it's pretty thin. Um, it did have this really cute ribbon on it that had my full name. That was cute. I really like that. Um, so this blazer, I wanted this blazer for a couple of years now. Maybe a year and a half. Maybe a year. But I wasn't too sure if the brand was legit. You know what I mean? Until I went to Los Angeles and saw that they had a store. Um, I thought it was like from, from another country. <laughs> um, but the brand is Wolf. The company is Wolf and Badger. Um, but the actual jacket is by Aggie. A-G-G-I. Um, and here's the jacket, guys. I have my other lens in, but I'm gonna come a little bit closer so you guys can really get a good look at the jacket. This ring light is on and it's kind of bright. Let me see if I can stand in front of it. So, as you guys can see, it's not um, leather. It's, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's vegan leather. Um, which I did not know, but nonetheless, it's a really nice jacket. I'm going to try it on now for you guys. Um, it's like a weird material. Let me, let me take off what I have and hope you guys can actually see it. This blazer is really nice as well. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this, but let's try it on. So I got a size large. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am six feet tall, six feet. Um, pretty slim, not much weight on, like the bottom or anything like that. So, but I usually size up in most of my jackets and tops and get them tailored if I need to. So here's the jacket. This is a large. And I absolutely love it. Let me see if I can bring the camera down just a smidge it so you guys can see. I'm gonna bring it down just a small amount. So, and let me move back some. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna try to change the way my room is set up so you guys can see more. I'm gonna come closer to so here's the jacket up close. Um, can you guys see the shoulders? The shoulders fit really, really well. There's shoulder pads in here, but I really like it a lot. There is a button, let me button that. Let's button that button. The sleeves are long. I believe they are 26 in the sleeve length. And the bottom is pretty long as well. I'm going to try to pop in a video too because I don't know if you guys are really able to see this. Wait until I set my room up a little different. <laughs> but the jacket is ultimately a nice jacket. I'm not going to get it tailored because I am going to wear sweaters and stuff under it. There, these, these are faux pockets um, and I believe here as well. Yeah, these are faux pockets. Now, if you want it, you can have, let me see, mm, I would say you can have your tailor put, because you can open it, put a pocket in here if you want, but it's not that serious. But it's, it's really, it's really nice. Now, the cost of this was total, I think, $508. Um, i will say this, most brands are really hitting us with the vegan stuff, right? Some are much better quality than others, 
Um, if you are not a vegan leather wearer, then it's not the jacket for you. There are more. I believe I have two. No, those are vegan, but they're like, this is a different material. They, they feel very butter soft. Um, so think about that when you're purchasing things. Do you want to spend money on something that's vegan leather? Because um, you really do have to take care of it. You don't want it to be, it says dry cleaned, I believe, in the back. Let me see. I think it did say dry clean. Yeah. Yeah, dry clean. But to be quite honest, I'll say this. I would just wipe it down. I would. I wouldn't really, and I would just use, I wouldn't even use like, just dust it off. <laughs> just dust it off. Um, but it's a really nice jacket. Let me know what you guys think. It's long. It actually passed my my butt, which is perfect for us tall women. If you are a person who is 5'11 and up and struggle, this is perfect. The sleeves, like I said, the sleeves are hitting like my knuckle area on my thumb. So, yeah, I like it a lot. I would definitely get another jacket from them. It's hard, especially because I have broad shoulders. I'm technically not supposed to wear shoulder pads because I have broad shoulders in the styling world, but I don't care. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> I have my glasses on today. I have to do some stuff after this, but I will, like I said, pop in a video so you guys can see the full view long way. Um, but that's it guys. That's all I have for you guys today is this blazer from Wolf and Badger. Um, it's from that company, but the name of the blazer is by AGGI, Aggie, Aggie, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I actually really, really like it. I need to check if they have black because I would definitely get a black one. Um, just because I like the way it sits on me. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and Coco Styles NYC, which is my personal page and my blog, which is I do for styling, um, CocoStylesNYC.com and my styling services for corporate women, CocoStylesNY.com, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.